Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Boy here again with another video for you based on our favourite superhero series and today's video is another react to the latest episode of Young Justice Phantoms over and out. Let's get started. I knew it! I knew it! Haven't got anything uh, first things first to say so uh, we're going to get straight to it. Uh, episode 25 of Young Justice Phantoms over and out. You can go home Again, but beware of hitchhikers. My opinion is that the Phantom Zone team is going to fall back uh, to Earth and try and prepare the defences for the Kryptonian invasion and maybe one or two Kryptonians snag uh, themselves a ride as opposed to the off-world team. I'm not quite sure how they're going to get out of that one other than the bio ship comes in to rescue them with Legionnaires um, and Sod and... Zod <laughs> make uh, an escape using a boom tube but let's get straight to it I'm not so excited we got all that stuff all the exposition and plot stuff out of the way for uh, the last episode so I expect nothing but action and adventure in this one here we go yeah back on Trombus oh is Zod actually going to care Oh no, it's just a recap of the last 10 seconds. The intro existed. Uh, okay, so I think, yeah, this is the episode 25 Kryptonian Invasion. Episode 26 is going to be kicking them off the earth. I'm still hoping for a Fortress of Solitude, um, which might be where a second Phantom Zone projector is. Who knows? I think that's a bit of a day ex machina if there is a second uh, Phantom Zone projector there. Oh, forward in your willpower. Shoot. Take him, take him, take him. Okay, so they can get the fire ship back to Earth, um, but... Fortress of Solitude! I knew it! I knew it! There's going to be a lot of silence for this video. I do apologise. Oh, the time stream's already destroyed. Yes! Oh, what is not that fragile? Oh, oh God! Oh, no, don't. Oh, God. Oh, the Emerald Eye is going to activate. The Emerald Empress. Now, has she mind swapped or is it just like a green lantern ring? What, they're going super saiyan? 
Ah! And here comes the devourers. Oh, uh, yeah. So hold the middle ground, their powers, because they don't have any, should be more than enough to hold the army. Okay, so can the team beat Zod? Should be able to hold them off long enough. Tana, boost it like you did in season two. Move. Right Go, I'm right behind you. Where's Rocket? Rocket. Jeez. Okay, Emerald Empress this versus them. Oh no, the bow ship! Oh, please be okay. Recover from that. Right through the hole. I know it. I've killed her. He's got kryptonite. There. Okay, invasion starts. Damn it! Suspenseful ending again? Oh! Okay, so that was episode 25 of Young Justice Phantoms. What an ending. Always a suspenseful one. Uh, going from one suspenseful ending of 25 to this one now. Ah, oh, keeping us on the ropes until the very end. It's very good. Very clean. It, doesn't have any exposition because, like I said, episode 23, uh, 24 was all that stuff, so it can be a clean one, two, three punch all the way through, and that's what they're going to be able to do at the, the ending of episode 26 next week as well. I'm so glad I knew the fortress gonna, was going to make an appearance the second I saw those crystals uh, on the poster. Perseverance and belief in oneself, one throughout. As for what I think happened with Rocket, I think out of concern with Nightwing, she's gone through to the fortress, is going to find Nightwing injured and dying. Fortress has an amazing amount of advanced alien technology, even though it's 40 years behind the time in the Kryptonian sense. Uh, but he, I'm guessing she'll find Nightwing, hook him up to some sort of medical jargon, maybe with... Um, I can't remember the name of that robot that normally hangs around there. And then after that, uh, heal Nightwing, go outside, find all the other mess members outside and uh, get them ready for, to fight the good fight. I think Bioship's dead, sadly. Um, that's such a shame. She, it was noted that she doesn't make any more appearances from the Legion perspective in history books, so yeah. That is sad. She was a good ship. She was a very good ship. As for what's going to happen in Metropolis, uh, the team actually portals out in Metropolis. So they're going to go and distract Zod, prevent Superboy from killing Superman. And they'll stall things up long enough for other heroes to arrive. And then Boom Tube's going to open up. And then it's obviously going to be Hero 
versus Kryptonian, Hero versus Daxamites, which should be a pretty even playing field because it's night time and it takes a large amount of time, it seems, for uh, Kryptonians and Daxamites to absorb superpower, solar energy to get superpowers, uh, even with the pods. So yeah, fun times. Uh, I don't know how long the team is going to last against the Emerald Empress, two Kryptonians and uh, a Martian and the Boom Tube. I don't want them to do the same thing where the Kaiser Floor zaps them again, because that just that's a one trick pony. You can't keep doing that every time. That just gets boring. Um, but yeah, that's how I think things are going to go. If you think things are going to go a different way or spotted something I've missed, please write it in the comment section below. I've been Dark Superboy. This has been a video on Young Justice. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, let hope burn bright.